to Thompson against a double team to Johnson. Luke's under the basket, he scores off the glass. The Longhorns have made it to the NCAA tournament every year for the past 12 seasons, a feat just six other schools have accomplished, and Coach Rick Barnes says he expects the streak to continue this season. Well, again, I think every year you, you talk about getting better. You know, uh, individually, we always ask our players to add a little bit something more to their game every year and improve, and, and we try to do that as a team. But uh, there is no question that we're going to need everyone from our seniors who have been with us and have played quality minutes to uh, the freshman a year ago to continue to grow, and, and there's no question that we're going to need help from our two freshmen this year. And, Based on their work ethic and what they've done up to this point, uh, we're happy with where they are, and we feel good about that. One of those newcomers he mentioned include freshman forward Tristan Thompson. Right now he leads the Big 12 in rebounding and blocks per game, and Coach Rick Barnes says he's pleased with the impact he's made so far. He plays with a lot of energy, a guy that we think that, uh, uh, you know, as the season goes on, we, we just see him getting better and better, uh, a person that really, truly wants to learn this game. He uh, has put a lot of time in already up to this point. Uh, one of the last players to leave the court every day, which I think, one, has earned the respect of his teammates, and two, as a coach, you love someone that has that type of passion that wants to be coached every day. And, uh, but we're excited about where he is and uh, even more excited about what we think he can become. The Longhorns must replace four starters from last year's squad, including all Big 12 first team member Damian James, but sophomore Jordan Hamilton, who played all 34 games last season and averaged 10 points per game, says he's ready to take on that role. You know, coming in last year, I didn't know what to expect, really, as far as basketball goes. You know, I just saw, you know, what they did, what they have done on TV. And now I got a chance to really experience it last year. So now I know what to expect coming into this year with a year under my belt. Scooped up, and as it went to Joseph, no look pass into Johnson. Senior forward Gary Johnson is the most experienced player on the Longhorns, and he's off to a good start this year as he's ranked in the top ten of the league in rebounding. He says it's important to remind younger players on the team that preseason rankings and polls don't mean much. You know, last year we kind of got caught in the rankings and in the numbers game, so, you know, we learned a lot a lot from that, and we're just going to just gonna go out and play, you know. That's all we're promised is uh, our next game. And that's all we were as good as. In late November, the Longhorns competed in the 2K Sports Classic in New York City, beating number 13 Illinois and falling to number 5 Pittsburgh by just two points. Their remaining non-conference schedule includes marquee matchups with North Carolina, Michigan State, Arkansas, and UConn. UT opens Big 12 play on January 11th at Texas Tech. For BigTwelveSports.com, I'm Brian Mortensen.